my loves, so I just realized as I was about to film this intro that I literally never turn on my little rainbow twinkle lights. I have been traveling for what feels like a freaking decade. I've just been non-stop going, going, going lately and not doing my skincare very well, being on planes 24-7. Um, and also just my skin has not been happy and so as a result I've been breaking out like crazy. My skin hasn't been this bad in years and rather than sulking about it or feeling insecure, I thought instead I would do something positive and bring you guys a new full coverage foundation routine because I used to do these, not frequently, but when my skin was really bad when I first started YouTube, it was my most popular video for a really long time. And so I thought I would kind of do something updated, something really quick. Only every day I can do this under five minutes. It's so simple, so quick. I wanted to show you guys because I'm also going to make this kind of like sweat resistant, something good for the summer that really will stay in place. If you guys want to see how I do it, then just stay tuned. So getting started, especially when you want your makeup to last over the course of the day, I really like to prime using the Too Faced Hangover RX. Um, this primer has like coconut water. It's really, really good for dry skin, which I'm really dry. So now I'm going to jump into my foundation and my foundation, my concealer for my acne and everything is going to just be this, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation in the shade 30 Warm Nude. My fake tan is about worn off right now, but this is pretty much my shade at the moment. I'm going to start off with just two pumps of this on the back of my hand. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add a third pump right here. And I like to get out all the foundation I'm going to use. It has some time to warm up on the back of your hand, especially if you have issues with acne. Make sure your hands are clean before you start this. After it's warmed up for just a minute, I'm just going to go in and dot it on my face using the two pumps I got at first. So I'm just taking this, dotting it, spreading it out with my fingertips. I'm also going to take this under the chin. And once I kind of think I have enough product spread out on the face, I'm just going to go in and really lightly tap this in with clean fingers. And this will take all of maybe 20 seconds. After it is just kind of lightly tapped into the skin, that is when I will go in with a brush. I tend to, on the daily, like to use this Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrushed Kabuki brush, whatever it is. And I'm just going to lightly go over the face, blend this in. So tapping it with the fingertips beforehand is going to just kind of help it meld into the skin and warm it up before you start working with it. And you can see just doing that, like how easily the product blends in after. Areas like where I'm really breaking out are still kind of peeking through, so I'm just going to take what is left of the foundation I had on my hand and lightly dab in those areas, just on my hyperpigmentation, that scarring, um, on the cheeks where I'm breaking out, on my problem areas, and again, I'm just going to do the same thing, really lightly tap this in, just to kind of warm up the product. Then I'm going to go in with the same brush, and just blend that in, and I'm using the most feather light touch right now, and I'm also not swiping. So where I want to blend is where that foundation line ends. I'm going to kind of drag it down the jaw. As you can see, it's entirely full coverage. I mean, there's nothing that can take out the texture of bumps on your skin, but all of the redness is gone. Everything is fully covered. And even though I think right here you can kind of see a baby bit of redness, we're going to fix that after we do our under eye concealer. So of course, it's always really nice to use something like a beauty blender to blend in your concealer, but that is time consuming. So what I like to do on the daily, especially when I want a full coverage, Coverage, is just take a brightening concealer first. This one is a little bit pinky and peachy, so I'm just gonna take that pretty much all over my eyes. I'm not gonna like perfectly blend it in because we will then go in with a skin tone color concealer. This is the Cargo Jet Lag Concealer, and I'm going to highlight under the eyes with this. Also just bring it right down the nose. Instead of using a beauty blender, we're just going to use our fingers, and I'm just gonna keep patting, blending, that's it. It is really easy when you have more thin concealers to work with to blend them in with your fingertips. This cargo one is nice too because it will not move during the day. It does not crease. All right, so now I'm going to show you my favorite trick to making sure you have a full coverage, flawless look that looks like you took so much time in no time. I'm going to take a lighter colored face powder. This is going to go directly under the eyes. Also on top of the lid to set that there, right there on the upper lip. And swapping over to a larger kabuki, I'm also going to dab that in the center of the forehead, nose, chin. 
This will give us the illusion of highlight without having to highlight the whole face. Sometimes for this step, I will use the same powder in a darker color. Sometimes I will go in with what I'm using today, which is the Bare Minerals um, Original Foundation. I have this in the shade Light. I'm going to swirl my brush in here. And what I'm going to do is first just dab all over the face. You can see I really like dabbing in my makeup routine. So pretty much anywhere I didn't put that lighter powder. So here at the outer corners of the forehead, on the cheeks, I'll also go under the chin. Once again, not going to swirl in areas where my acne is particularly bad, but then I'll just lightly blend this out. So areas right here where I don't have acne is fine. Lightly dab where I have a breakout. That is a really good trick to making sure your makeup does not smear or like take away from what you've already done. It's just making sure you pat where you need that coverage and then swirl everywhere else. You know, feel free to blend, just not where you have that acne. Even talking, explaining everything real time, that was seven whole minutes that I was doing all of that. Now I'm going to go and just finish off my face. My final step to my foundation routine is a setting spray. And I really like the Urban Decay All Nighter for this. Sometimes I also like to use one that really infuses moisture, but on days where I just want my makeup to stay where it is, a setting spray is number one, going to make it look more natural and really meld into the skin and number two make it last for ages so thank you all so so very much for watching if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you all so soon in my next video bye